Hey guys, Caleb here with DSR Video Shooter, and today we're doing something really different. There's several new things going on here. Number one, doing a new setup here and testing that. I've got one stand with my camera and the light mounted and the microphone. So one stand to rule them all. We'll talk about this maybe in another video. Just wanted to see what it looked like and what it sounded like with the Rode Video Mic Pro in this different room that's not as well treated. That was really long-winded. Um, I'm also going to be checking out a really interesting little project from a gentleman named Max. I'll have a link in the description. Essentially, this guy developed what he calls the uh, vlogging mirror. So the idea is a mirror so you can see the back of your screen with cameras like the A6500, the A6300. I'm gonna be also testing it with the NEX6, which is almost identical with that flip-out screen to the A6500 setup. So I'm gonna unbox the $25 you can purchase this prototype. So it is a prototype. Um, this isn't a final product, so you can't rip on it really because the guy's kind of still developing this. But I thought I'd check it out and he was very gracious enough to send me one. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out. Um, again, keep in mind, this is a prototype. So he's just getting some early feedback. And essentially it looks like it is uh, laser cut pieces of wood. And then here we have our mirror. So essentially from reading the instructions, we have two main pieces here, a clear piece of acrylic and the mirror itself. You guys can see yourselves. See, I can line that up there, boom. Um, and you're going to attach the clear piece to the display itself and then the mirror will show you what's going on from the front of the camera. Little bracket here in the middle and then two knobs. So let's go ahead and loosen these up. Um, I could see where this could be a really nice little product uh, once he switches over to a different material. Again, prototype. So this uh, lightweight wood is totally fine. Okay, so after reading the instructions, you essentially have it oriented like this, clear plastic on the bottom, mirror on the top. Um, slightly tighten the knobs so they don't fall around. And then there is a little piece of wood on the acrylic and there's a little padded material on one side. So you're gonna take the whole thing and rest it on top of the display. He recommends having the back of the display almost you know, sticking straight out uh, with a little bit of room between the top of the display and the actual camera itself. Now, if you're in a studio environment or on sticks, you could just leave it like this. Then all you have to do is position the mirror just so, so you can see the back of the screen. You're good to go. It's just gonna rest there just on its own, just fine. But if you're tearing around and you wanna secure it, that's where this little Velcro strap comes into play. So it's got these convenient little knobs on either end and there's uh, little slots on the clear acrylic that match. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up in one notch, wrapping it underneath the display and in the second notch like so. Now things are more secure, so you're not gonna have to worry about it falling around. So now what I'm gonna do is actually turn the camera on, spin it around. Oh my gosh, it works really well actually. So you've got these two knobs, you can adjust exactly where things land. This is really working much better than I would have expected. This is awesome actually. So for 25 bucks, you could solve a huge problem with these cameras. So that is pretty fantastic. And I'll show you guys angles here so you can see exactly what's going on. Um, the only problem might be is uh, if you move the camera around a ton, you might have to adjust the mirror. But what I love is the mirror is big enough to where you have a lot of uh, freedom. So this is a prototype. He's probably gonna be making some modifications, but this could be a great solution for YouTubers who really wanna use the A6500, A6300, or other Sony cameras, um, but don't wanna spend whatever it is, $500, $600 on the focus monitor from Small HD to get the most out of it. So this way, you can see all your settings, your audio, everything is hunky-dory. You can kind of mix and match how you want the monitor or the mirror really to be set. It's a little silly looking, obviously. So if you have you know struggles with um, vlogging in public and you're worried about what people think of you, this isn't going to help one bit but for us YouTubers, I think this is so slick. And I don't have a microphone, so this is gonna sound rough, but I do have the uh, mirror set up on the A6500, and it works great. I can see, you know, I'm not doing this or this or this. I can see right there. 
my hat is touching the top of the frame. My focus isn't working, <laughs> but it works really well. The only thing that's a downside is it's mirror, so everything is backward. So I can't read the text easily because it's reversed, but um, it's amazing to be able to see the audio levels, to see all the different settings without any problems. For future revisions, what I would like to see is something as compact as possible. Um, this arm here is designed to get you the most flexibility with different cameras, but I would really like to see something where this mirror is just above you know, the camera in here, so a shorter arm or an adjustable arm. Obviously something made out of aluminum or plastic, a really nice, strong, lightweight plastic would be great. Max, if you're watching, you're off to a great start. Thank you again for sending this to me. And for those of you who wanna check one of these out, it only costs $25 for the prototype, and you'll be supporting a DIY maker out there who is trying to hook us up, us filmmaker, YouTuber, vlogger people, with a product to solve a big problem. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Check the description for more information. And as always, you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single Tuesday and Thursday. I will see you in the next video.